Today I want to show you Google Forms. So Google Forms is a Google product. You need to have a Google account in order to use it. The people who are completing your form do not need to have a Google account. So you can set that up so that anyone can complete it. So as long as they, uh, you have it, then you're good to go. So this is what you'll see when you go onto Google Forms. You can create a blank form um, depending on what you need. Uh, the templates might be helpful to you too. So this is the template gallery. I used to use Google Forms a lot in my previous life as a teacher. There's just so much you could do with it, collecting parent information, um, doing kind of surveys of course material, checking in with kids, um, doing attendance. There's so much we could do. And what I found is leaving education and going into the nonprofit kind of business side, there's still a ton you can do with it. So it's just a versatile tool. So here's some um, templates that already exist. Event registration, contact information, RSVP, party, a sign up, um, finding a time to do something. So finding out what the best time is for everybody. Um, feedback, maybe you do a training and you wanna know how it went and get kind of the opinions of people. An order form, even a job application. You want to do time off requests and HR things, you could do that here. Um, so I think that there's a lot you can use with it if you know that you're going to do something similar. And then let's say you are going to have an event and you want people to register. You can use the template and then just customize it. So you can change this. You can change this. Obviously, it says 2016. That was a whole different time, wasn't it? So you can change this here. This red star infers that um, it must be collected. You must uh, do that. So let's say you don't want the organization to be a requirement. You can change that. Let's say you don't want to know what organization they're from at all. You can delete it. You can create your own new questions. Um, they can be short answer and paragraphs, so open-ended. They can be multiple choice. You can have check boxes. You can do a drop down. You can have it so that they can make it do an upload. Um, there can be a linear scale. So like on a scale of one to five, how excited are you about this event? You can do a grid and you can have it dated and timed. You can, again, get rid of other things that are not applicable. And when it's done and completed, you just go to the responses and all the responses will be here one by one. So you can just kind of click through. If you want to see them all together in kind of a, a way that can be sorted, there's uh, the option to create a spreadsheet. So then this information goes onto the spreadsheet and it's all live. So as it's being completed, both are being updated. So you're never going to be out of date because it's always updating and they're connected. So I'll show you one that I created using um, the um, template. I did think the template was helpful and I changed them some things. Um, I was able to add my own picture and change the colors. I did that here with the customizing of the theme. Um, you can do some add-ons. There's apparently an add-on where you can make it so that this registration could then become a Google Calendar um, like invitation. I haven't yet figured that out yet, but I've heard that that is an add-on that's possible. So there's still a lot to for me to see, even though I've been doing this for a long time. You can add other people. Um, and you can copy it if you know that you're going to use this again. I'll use this again, except I'll change it for March. So I'll make a copy and that way I don't have to redo everything. Now, if I found that, you know, oh, duh, I should have asked people something, then I can do that. Um, so again, this is what that would look like. And then my responses would be here. And then if I had any, I haven't sent this out yet. So it's not like no one's coming to my party. Um, and then here I would look at the responses and I could sort them. Okay. So that's this. And again, if you want to create a blank one, you can. You can make it for whatever you want. Um, party sign up. You want people to bring food. You know, you can say, what are you bringing? And have them just complete it, you know, put their name, something like that. It's It can be used for so many different things. Um, and, you know, as, as long as you find it useful to you, it's really important. That's all that matters. So when you're ready to share it, you would just hit the preview button and then copy that link. And that's it. Um, and then they could complete it and you would get that data. So lots you can do. If you think it's something that you'd be interested in doing or using and trying, you should really just explore it because there is a lot that can be done. I think it is one of the better tools out there. And I think Google is very responsive with people's needs. So it's constantly changing and improving based on feedback from the customers. So enjoy, explore it.
Thanks.